We're going to evaluate an integral here, and this is tangent to the 6th power secant squared. And this does come from 3.2 in the book, so we're going to go look at the book real quick for the uh, strategy to use. So I'm in 3.2. This is about, I don't know, maybe 8 pages into the section. There's something similar for sines and cosines, uh, but we got a tangent secant uh, integral. Now, sines and cosines, you want one of them to be an odd power, or more than one to be an odd power. Tangents and secants a little bit different. You actually want even powers because derivative of tangent is secant squared, and that's what we're going to exploit here. Um, a derivative of secant is secant tangent. Uh, so the derivative is working in a slightly different way for tangents and secants compared to sines and cosines. So we just have to figure out which one of these we have. Now, our problem has tangent to the sixth power and secant squared. So that means j is even, it's squared, and j is two or more. It's actually equal to two. So what we're gonna do is rewrite secant j, our j is two. Uh, now, if you look at this, 2 minus 2 is 0, so this first term actually won't exist, so we're, our rewriting is going to not accomplish anything because our j equals 2. But we're going to keep reading here, and we're going to use the secant squared is tangent squared plus 1 to rewrite uh, in terms of tangent. Um, now, we still don't have to do that because... Uh, Let's see, j minus 2 is 0, so there, there'll be 0 of these right here. Uh, but we're going to use this substitution right here. Now, I kind of got lucky because the j was equal to 2. If it's greater than 2, you got a little bit of algebra to do right here that we're not actually going to do in this problem. Uh, but in the future, you may have that. And if things are odd, it gets a little bit more tricky. But all we're going to do is make a u sub for t u equals tangent x. And of course, first thing to do when you make a u sub is find the derivative of u, derivative of tangent secant squared x dx. And now you can see uh, we have secant squared. Uh, what I didn't do correct didn't account for that x over 9. So let's go back a couple steps here. And get that x out of there. What we should have done is do tangent of x over 9. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. You bring this through with the chain rule. Now with the chain rule, you also have to multiply by the derivative of x over 9, which is 1 ninth dx. All right, we don't have a 1 ninth, so we'll move that over with multiplication. 9 du equals secant squared x over 9 dx. And now we're ready to make our substitution. So this right here that is u to the sixth power and remember if you need you can always rewrite these tangent and secant any trig function written to a power it's sometimes a lot more convenient to write them like this and now we can make our sub so we have nine the constant comes in Here's our u to the sixth. Secant squared, secant x over nine squared dx is gonna get unsubbed for uh, du. I've already accounted for the nine. So we're just gonna have a du here. Anti-power rule. We did not have any bounds, so this is a plus constant here. And we're it as 9 sevenths. Now we have u to the seventh. So that's tangent. I'm writing it as tangent raised to the seventh power outside. You can, of course, write your seventh power inside if you really want to. Plus constant. There we go.